Okay, in this particular video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get the software off the out of Canvas and onto your computer as far as I can go with the resources that I have. First of all, you get into the course right here. It doesn't really matter which course. I'm in another course as a student uh, at Keller, but in your, our own course, the, the location is exactly the same. You go to Modules. Then you go down to uh, Technology and Resources. And after the page allows you to, you then click on Course Resources. Then after you get to Course Resources, up will come Student Software Store. And you click on Access Student Software Store. Up comes this store here and then you go to Microsoft Imagine Premium and you should have all this different software available and then what you do is I go up to here and I just type find because we use 2013 in this course it's important that we all use the same version so a I can help you and B so that I can grade it when you submit if you're in a different version there's a possibility it might not open up but you can see there are eight instances of um, of software here and you could just scan it yourself but eight instances of 2013 software I'm just gonna keep scrolling through it see there's access right there and there's Visio right there as well I'm gonna click on access and then this pops up and you click on it again and I think I already added it to my cart earlier on, but you add it to your cart. Um, there's two versions of it. Let me go back again. I'm going to take it out of my cart because I added it previously by accident. There we go. Okay, so um, let's go back and do this again. We're in Imagine Premium. We then can do a search a number of ways. One is to just go to see if that works, 2013. And it only gives you, okay, Access 2013 right there. And it didn't take me there. My method works better. Go to wherever your Find button is in your browser, and then just type 2013, and then keep scrolling until you find the software that you want to download. In this case, it's Access 2013. And you would want to then add this to your cart. And uh, I just added the download version here you can also add a backup disk but it costs you money but it will send it to your home it's useful in case you lose you know your computer malfunctions or has a virus and you can't use it anymore or you can just back up your key that you'll get eventually to that allows you to use it a product key and back up the actual downloaded software you'll have as well the executable file it's called onto a USB drive so you can load it on another machine if you need to if in case your current machine is a problem and then what you do is you'll go here and you'll check out and then it gives you a, a key here and you can then download the software as well Now, I already have this installed on my computer from my faculty account, but follow these steps. Download this, download this, and then follow the steps that they give you, and it should install it. Um, it works best if you are on a Windows machine. If you've got a Mac, then I suggest you use the remote server that I did videos on called Citrix because I, I'm not sure how to to make this work on a Mac. Okay, so that's all I have to share on this.